This actually is the vault. This is not a vault, but it's the vault. There wasn't like a special big metal box with one of the twisty turny combo locks on it where you walk inside and it opens up and it's like, psh, the vault, hidden gems. No, this is actually the vault right here. This is a vault, it's actually, actually. How many times can you say actually and actually? Just woke up. <laughs> this right here is where I put all the boards that I just don't know what to do with. Pretty much everything here is just on layaway until another day. But sometimes when you're printing a deck, it doesn't always happen first try. And you know, if you got mistakes like that right there, you know, you can't run that in production. So you just kind of let it sit over here in the vault, you know? There's some blemishes. They're not perfect, you know? But also we, we do have some of our archived boards here. You know, like real special stuff that, you know, don't have plans with. So kind of just stack it up. I mean, dude, we're a skateboard company. We got a lot of skateboards. I don't even know what's here, dude. I really have no idea. I have no clue. Oh, that's dope. I mean, that's just, that's just, that's some tie-dye wood grain that uh, this one just happened to come out with like, kind of like an off stain, all green. Kind of just got that one chilling, man. Keep that one for myself. Other than that, you know, I don't know, man. I don't know, you know? Signed Buddies deck, dude. This was the original boards that we launched the brand with. Me and Daywon, signed. There's your sequel. Zombuddies, also signed. That's got that glow in the dark ink right there. It was a Halloween exclusive, so like, we'll never make them again. You know, look at that, man. That's a special one. Just test that bad boy out, that oil slick. I signed that bad boy for no apparent reason. That's really cool on this board. Originally, it was just on silver foil. It's a pretty sick deck. I like that. It really complements that blue water there. Gotta keep these boards nice and in plastic so they don't get scratched. Well, I guess, you know, you got a little prototype. You got some archives, you know? This is part of the archive as well. That was a real quick release right there, limited edition, just for one day. That's the LBC buddies, Long Beach buddies, Zom buddies. And then you got your OG buddies. That's a great trilogy set right there, huh? I don't know what, what I would just call, kind of call this like some laser, some laser beam foil logo deck. Testing the waters out. These are cool, man, because when you skate them, foil doesn't, doesn't scratch. It's like a slick bottom. Really cool. I've tested it. I made these boards. I skated them. Haven't released them. This was actually made for the 4th of July foil deck. We just did a one of one for a giveaway. Actually has five different elements to it. Red foil, silver foil, blue foil, and then you have this transparent holographic, almost like a diamond cut layover, and then ending it with the thank you logo graphic. But this one right here, just cause it was like the first tester that added this whole thing over the top of it. It's definitely a smorgish board <laughs> of transfers, but yeah, there's just, I mean, you know. It's one of one. It's what you would call a, a prototype or a sample. Tie-dye wood grain, kind of like one-off stain. That one love on there. Dude, that board's sick. Just wanted to put something on the wood grain just to see what it would look like. Could have done something better, but this is already on there. What you got? Kind of testing out the wood grain with a transparent layover. This board I wasn't gonna use anyways because there's a dent in it right here. You probably can't see that dent. Can you see the dent? There's a dent in the wood. It ends up here in this fun pile for days. I mean, these are great pieces. They're all one-offs. They're all one of one. This was a test of a shop, core shop exclusive. I call it the figment foil with the simple white thank you logo right there. I tested this one with the clouds, which is too much, too much going on here. It's a cool one-off for sure. This is such a badass foil right here. I bet you've never seen anything like this get that at our core select stores, more the basic, simple version of it. They might be all sold out now. You know, it's got some blemishes, but it's still a great board. Every brand has their own thing, you know, they got their own methods and technique, you know, introduce some new things to the game. That's what I like to do. I like to kind of experiment with a lot of these, you know, different techniques or foils or inks and, and kind of just play around to see if I could, you know, kind of innovate a little bit more. Obviously, like, this isn't gonna be so much graphic based. It's more a uh, unique basis of just me kind of trying to mess around with, you know, different ways I could kind of make something fun and, 
and, and different. I like to test this stuff. I printed all the boards for, all the Battle Scars boards for the barracks. Mine was the first Battle Scars board that they released. We accidentally printed these on the wrong size. These are eight fives and all the boards were eight two fives. So got them chilling in the vault. Another dead stock Tiki Cruiser board. This one made it in the pile because it's off centered. Kind of unique, right? Yeah. Anyone got a misprint? I do. I love that, dude. Wine, wood grain, right there. That's a dope stain. Really cool cruisers. Can't get them anymore. This is actually probably the last one that we have. Just play with these things all day, man. Oh no. Ooh, this is something special, man. I accidentally figured out this method one day of how to basically burn these roses as like a matte finish into the wood grain. The black wood grain looks sick. So that's like uh, what I call a black rose wood. Kept it clean, put the, just threw that bad boy on there. Just want some visuals on the, on the wood, so. To me, this is why I do all this stuff. I made one other one like this. I did do a bigger bang board, put it on black wood grain with the black rosewood. I gave it to Steve-O for his personal collection. He, he hung it up in his house. He actually took down a Nottis board off his wall and replaced it with my board. I told him not to do it and he was stoked to do it. That's a fiery foil. It's trippy, dude, trip on that. It's almost like an autumn leaf. To me, it looks like fire. Can you hear this? It's pretty loud. Just wanna try something out. I definitely don't wanna to showcase too many secrets, but I'm not afraid to release a one-off prototype or sample in the vault. I think it's great, so might as well give it to the people. After some time, it's hard to get your hands on some of this. Like this, dude. This right here, I don't know if you know what this is. This is the original Thank You logo deck right here from fall 2018, the launch of the brand. That's the staple with an original top graphic. Anytime I see this, it brings me back. So this one's sentimental for sure. So anyone that is actually a supporting fan of the company, you know, this is a good one to have, especially it's like, man, who doesn't wanna just have a board up on the wall that says thank you? It's a positive message right there. Grateful. This is sick, dude, experimental. Actually has a day 100 top graphic on it. This is picture perfect right here. Got your cover girl, Brooke Shields on it. This is a hot one. I actually got a little bit more crafty with this, which was a pain in the ass. Cut it out as perfect as I could versus if I just had a transparent transfer. Some extra work goes into making these because I just have fun like experimenting and sometimes just wanna see how something would look with a different background. Very therapeutic to be in here crafting with my hands on skateboards, especially after a skate sesh, you know, just kind of wind down and let my brain kind of keep going. Day one song, Vogue. This was just an idea. I just, I wanted to test out this right here. I was, I was, <laughs> for Nick, diamond thank you sample. I never sent it to him though. I felt like that wasn't the, the right representation of a diamond foil, I guess. Yeah, that's a full experimental sample right there, dude. Check it out. Mm. Pretty hectic. It all could end up in the vault. It's just all like what you're gonna put in it. This is another one, dude, in the archives right here. This is uh, from the first season. That's all neon ink right there. If you get the black light, this is all glow. That's that day one tiger. Something like this that you cannot get anymore. History of the brand. I wanna give it to someone else that will be hyped so it doesn't sit here in this corner. This is another board, it's an error, you know? Tested it out, I don't like it. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. This is fun, man. Another prototype right here, where you got the iridescent holographic wood grain logo deck. Pretty sick. Hyped to ride one of these. I, I also like kind of test things out and I'll make like experimental graphics and give them to the team riders. Sometimes I'll give them some fucked up shit. Yeah, this is a, this is a cool one, man. Thank you, two-tone, dual foil, double foil. What else we got in the vault? You know, just a uh, little whatever, dude. Just whatever. Got violet foil, good cloud, one of one. This is iridescent gold foil. That's something that you never see. Iridescent gold foil. Good clouds deck right there, one of one. Just a prototype tester. 
They're coming out the vault, man. They're coming out the vault. This is actually the hardest foil I've ever worked with in my life. I never want to work with it again. Another smorgasbord. I tried something out. Didn't want to let it live. You got camouflaged foil. Super sick. But then I put this over the top just because it's like, I, I just, you know, I was just messing around. And it ended up being this pretty, pretty cool deck. You know, this isn't something we'd want to make and put out there. It's more of like, kind of like a, you know, it's, a, um, it's in the vault. There's random stuff in here, man. This was when I was testing out our holographic money foil that you could the, see featured on our heist graphic, part of our current line, take the money and run. That's something super rare, something I worked hard to develop, holographic 3D money print on the on the foil. I got in an argument with, with my homie Shojiro about just off top, guess how much there could be on here. I was like, dude, you're way off, man. It ain't that much. You know what I mean? Could be like 50 grand, I don't know. He said something stupid, like a million dollars. You tripping, show. This was just laying around, I guess. Silver foil, thank you logo deck, signed by me in day one. You know, some of this stuff we kind of would get signed and uh, we would promo it out to the skate shops or we would kind of just hook up like a couple customers just like as extra hype. And they're kind of just cooling over here in the vault. Av Skate Shop and More Park collab right there. Shop exclusive. This is inspired by the painting that's at the shop. That's the whole centerpiece and vibe for Av. This one's very special to me. Jamaica One Love, we made to raise money to help fund the building of the first skate park in Kingston through the Concrete Jungle Foundation. You know, it was very cool to be able to go to Jamaica, check out the locals, see what the skate scene was like there, just really what it's missing and kind of what they needed. So that's why we, we had the idea to put out this One Love logo deck to raise funds for Kingston to build the very first skate park in Jamaica. You know, with, with all these boards in the vault, some will make it in, some won't, but proceeds from the sales, we're gonna also be donating to a cause and give back to something to help support the skateboard community. We'll do a different cause every release we do with the vault. Get ready because the vault's about to be open. Don't miss your chance. That was a little bit of show and tell of the walkthrough of just how I experiment working with skateboards and uh, just kind of just got piles of those. So let's get them to the people, you know, but for a good cause too. Let's raise some money for skateboard communities worldwide. Dude, that's what makes the algorithm go bonkers. Did you document what he just said? Do you hear, this is, this is a damn near 50 year old man. <laughs> He just said, make the algorithm go bonkers. <laughs> He's right. He's a genius. And that's why we pay him the big bucks. At CU Tran, everybody. I get paid the woofoo bucks. If you want to just drop a comment and let me know what you think or what you might think would be a cool idea to do on a board or something unique that you know you want to see. And I would love to kind of pick that apart and see if I could figure out a process to make it work, you know? That would be super fun for me. I would be hyped. Definitely want to hear like what people think about these vault decks. Cause I'm just messing around. I think it's fun, you know? It's something that it, it came from my my hands. So I, I like to uh, I like to stay busy and go to work. So I'm looking for a challenge. <laughs>